Hello friends, my name is Ishwar Dhyal Mato and in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can extract core and cavity using SolidWorks software. So let us get started. Just open your SolidWorks software. Go to file, new, part, ok. Now, for making core and cavity of any component, we need to make any uh, component, particular component. And for that particular component, I am going to extract core and cavity. So, go to sketch. Take, you have to define a plane. Select top plane. Take a center rectangle. Click OK, exit from the tab, go to features, boss, mid plane and increase this dimension, increase its thickness by selecting this option and now I am going to add fillet on the edges. Let us take 2.5. Now go to cell operation, select this face, and the thickness will be 0.5. Press OK. So this is our component. And for this particular component, I am going to extract core and cavity for that. So, uh, like unlike other software, here uh, there is you know, any particular interface for the mold. So, you have to do it in the same interface and you have to call this mold tool. If it not visible, uh, then you can just click here and you can see here the mold tool is highlighted or checked that's why it is showing here so i am going to uncheck this and you can see it is not highlighted here so just you have to we have to call that toolbar so for this just right click on this this tab this menu bar and you have to check mold tools and you can see it is coming here and just click on that go to select this insert mold folder and go to scale so basically in a scale we have to provide the shrinkage dimension so let us check 0.5 click ok now go to parting line select this pulling direction let us taking on this face as my pulling direction. Click on draft analysis. Select the outer edge and select this propagate icon. Icons you can see the total periphery of this component is highlighted now. Click OK. Now we have to define the parting surface. So as you can see, it is coming here. If I want to increase its dimensions, so just click here and I think it will be sufficient. Click OK. Now we have to define the workfish. So go to this tooling split, select this parting surface, press Ctrl 8. Now draw a center rectangle and it should be bigger than the component and it should be smaller than our part parting surface. Click OK, exit from this window and you can see it is highlighting. 
so if you want to increase this height you can do it by drag this arrow okay so now you can see we have made the workpiece and parting surface for this component if you want to see inside just click this tooling uh, this tooling split and right click on that and go to change transparency and click one time in the interface and you can see our component and all the workpiece are looking like that so if you want to again change its color then go to tooling split and click change transparency so now we have to go to direct editing icon and if first time if it not coming then we have to follow the same procedure whatever we done for the mold tools so right click on this menu bar and direct editing uncheck this folder sorry uncheck this icon and just click on this and select this direct editing now you can see it is highlighting here just go to this options and select this move copy bodies select any one particular component like core and drag it in upward direction so this is our core again we have to go this option select cavity and this is our particular component so now you can see this is our core this is our cavity and this is our particular component and this is the parting surface area so i hope you enjoy this video give it thumbs up if you really like that video and please comment and write your suggestion or any feedback in my comment box and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel and thank you for watching this video